In this course, you will learn everything you need to turn this Maldive Island reference into a realistic 3D scene in Blender 2.8. In our first section, we're going to be learning about scale matching and how can we match the same scale of our reference. So we're going to be using an add-on called the FSPY. So it's going to help us to match the same proportions in our reference. And after that, we're going to be building a basic scene. So we're going to be learning some advanced modeling tips. And also we're going to be learning about the baking technique. So how can we bake our textures? We're going to be baking the normal map. We're going to be baking the diffuse so that we can optimize our scene first and also to achieve the good results. Also over here, we're going to be learning about close simulation and how can we create some realistic clothes on top of our table. And after that, in our second section, we're going to be working on our plans. So basically, we're going to learn how to create realistic plans in real in Blender 2.8. So we're going to start with our palm trees. As you can see in our reference, we have palm trees. We're going to learn how to create them, how to create the leaves and how to create the trunk of it. And after that, we're going to be baking these details. And also, if you want to use the model, the final model, I also include it in the, the description. You can simply download it straight and use it. Also, we're going to be creating the other type of plants using an add-on called the Gen Plants in Blender 2.8. So we're going to be using it to create all the types of plants that we have in our reference. In our section number four, we're going to be working on our fluid simulation. So basically, we're going to learn how to create this realistic beach effect in Blender 2.8 from scratch. So first, we're going to be creating all the components of our ocean. So first, we're going to start with our fluid. After that, we're going to be creating our ocean floor and we're going to set that that uh, sand curvature. And after that, we're going to be creating our wave maker which allows us to push those waves and after that we're going to be creating our domain so this domain is where that, uh, that simulation is going to occur also I'm going to be explaining all these uh, fluid settings so we're going to be using the Blender documentation so that we can understand everything the right way after that in section number 5 we're going to start texturing our environment and I'd like to start first with our ocean shader so we're going to be creating a realistic ocean shader based on a scale so basically the deepest point will have this dark color while the points on the surface will have this light color. So this technique will gonna give us a variation in color in our ocean which is gonna result a very realistic end results. And after that we're gonna be working on our sand. So first we're gonna be assigning our texture, our sand texture, and after that we need to bake it. So we need to bake it because we're gonna be creating a realistic wet effect on the edge of that ocean. So something that looks like real life. You can see the, the, this demonstration over here. So we're gonna, we need to create that same effect. But we have a challenge, which is that this wet effect changes and it keep updating itself uh, based on the waves. So we need also to create that wet effect that changes based on the movement of those waves. For that, we're going to be using a dynamic paint. So we're going to be baking a lot of sequences a lot of wet uh, surfaces just like that and after that we're going to be using that sequence and applying it to our animation it's going to result an awesome effect and after that we're going to be texturing the rest of our scene so basically we're going to be working on our swimming pool so for our swimming pool we're going to texture it using our two marbles marble textures so we're going to set everything and also we're going to be working on this new water for our swimming pool over here and the other object like the chair and the umbrellas. And in our final section, we're going to be working on setting the correct lighting in our scene so that we can be able to achieve photorealism. And we will finish by rendering this animation. So if you are interested in achieving the good results and learning how to achieve photorealism in Blender 2.8, join me and let's start our challenge right away. 